Hello, so I'm going to do another edition of Chanter Talk. I've already talked about stigmas, mantras, and gameplay to some extent. Like, I'd like to do more in gameplay, it's just, ooh, that's not a pretty sound. Um, but I'm not sure what else to talk about yet, so I will get back to more gameplay things if I can think of anything else. In the meantime, though, I want to talk about the mana stones that I use. There are a bunch of sets that I don't have. I've used one of them, I'll talk about it briefly, but I don't use block, so I can't really touch upon it and say from experience like what I found is great about it and what's not that great. But, um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first is Magic Resist. I have 1932 with food. The food you'll be using is, uh, as most said, it's called Goracle Cream Pasta. I'm not sure if it's the same for Elios, but it's the standard MR food. There's also Balak food that gives elemental defense. And you can use these two interchangeably, like they're both uh, good depending on the situation. If you're going to get nuked a lot, you want to use the gold. But if you don't see that many casters, it might be worth just using the cheaper green. And uh, Magic Resist is good for every class because every class has a magical attack of some kind. Um, it's especially efficient against other Chanters, Templars, um, Rangers, and Sins, even with their buffs up. like. I have a pretty good resist rate. They'll land their sounds and stun sometimes, but MR is always good against those classes because, like I said, if they're not debuffing you, stunning you, or silencing you, you're uh, neglecting them from using their... Neglecting, that's the wrong word. You're um, preventing them. <laughs> there we go. Neglect is kind of a mean word. Preventing them from using their tools to kill you, so that increases your survivability and will hopefully let you kill them. Um, a good example is Chanter against Chanter. If you're not getting hit by the stun, or if you're not getting debuffed your attack speed from Hallowed Strike, that's a huge advantage because you'll be hitting them just normally, and if they're getting debuffed, then they're going to have less time to hit you or do anything, and that's part of how you kill them. <laughs> I like to say that part because, in my experience, if a Chanter is decently geared and knows what they're doing, the duel can last forever. Like, forever. And it comes down to godstones, like all the chanter duels I can remember that haven't been just face palm. It's come down to me proccing my 3760 on them more than once in one case, <laughs> which is a pretty funny case because that chanter duel lasted like 15 minutes. It was the longest duel. Oh, I'm getting off track. Anyway, the of those four classes, Templar, Sin, Ranger, Chanter, MR is wonderful. Against Glads and Clerics, it's also pretty nice, but they have higher MA. Like, Glads can have 1400 plus because they have Slaughter, which gives them 300. So, things like Ankle Snare, Tendon Slice, I think it's Earthquake Wave that snares you. I'm not 100% sure because I don't play one, but I think that's the debuff. And of course, Sans Godstone. However, having this amount of MR, like, I've noticed that they don't hit you with those as often. Oh, Lockdown, sorry, missed that one. But having this amount of MR is nice because. Um, they hurt, like they do a lot of damage, but the thing that kills you against the gladiator is just them, you know, getting you stuck in one place and beating on you a bunch. Our mobility is the key to survival, so. Cleric, it's more of a toss up. If they're a good cleric, cleric sork, <laughs> and uh, they have nice MA, like 1800 plus, no, sorry, 1800 plus, um, then they will land a lot of their stuff on you and it'll be painful, and I feel that cleric versus chanter is more of a cleric oriented like favor fight just because their stuff is ranged and they can now heal a lot of our damage but if you have good MR the fight against them can drag on and on and on and on like the energizer bunny not like Chanter v Chanter because that will eventually be decided by a godstone but I don't know that's partially pretty annoying fight too especially if they're like block and have high magic resist Ooh, that's an annoying fight Luckily, you don't see that very often, at least not for me. And then, of course, Sorks and Spearmasters. Um, the ones with good gear, you can't rely on your MR for anything, so you shouldn't try to rely on it. <laughs> you have to play smart against them. They're the hardest two classes, in my opinion, for us to fight, because their tools are just too much for us to handle, and we don't have like a direct counter to them, really, other than line of sight or using the environment. But Sork without Magic Assist up that has like a, so or a setup that is balanced to have various stats like magic resist or HP etc you'll probably resist a bit with a nice amount of magic resist and um, is there anything else I missed oh I only use 40e if you have eternal set you'll probably have two point 
1K-ish MR, which is a really nice number. So um, it'd be even better for surviving than what I have, but I find that this is pretty good. Um, so next is attack and crit. My opinion is that you can never have like too much crit until you have maybe a thousand. <laughs> However, having 800 plus is a pretty good number. Like I would stay, okay, I retract my earlier statement, sorry. I would say 800-ish plus is a good number of crit strike because you want to be doing damage in this set and crits are a large part of the damage. So people with strike resist, you want to negate that and have a really high crit strike. I think this is a good number, like 300 plus strike resist against this. You'll crit pretty often. Um, attack, this is like, in my opinion, the bonus. You can suck at this for whatever else you have. I have almost 700, which is a decent number. And uh, the MR takes a hit a bit. I would probably still use MR food just because Colosseum gear lets you have high MR regardless. <laughs> Look at that, 7024, like that's crazy. You just get this gear and you can go attack like crit and still have pretty decent MR. Um, is there anything else to say? Oh, against classes. Well, the thing with the damage hit is that your survivability goes down a bit because you lose um, that a couple hundred points of magic resist, but on the flip side, you can probably kill them better, so it's more of a relying on your ability to kill them while playing a little smarter just because the debuffs might land or you might get nuked more, etc. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the DPS set. Next is parry. I used to use full parry. It used to be the trend on this server for a while, on Asmo side anyway. It was a bad trend <laughs> because it's a good like offset, but I don't think parry as a main set is a great idea for Chandler because all the debuffs, silences, stuns will land on you like no problem. And what's the point of having good parry if you're gonna get debuffed up the ass and can't do anything anyway? So parry is something you need to fully socket as well. So like you can't just put some parry in and get some other stats. You have to go full parry, like magic resist or block. I'm not too big of a fan, but as an offset, sure, why not? You could have a parry set. And uh, block, I don't use block. The only thing I use my shield and mace for is for, um, well, there's two things. I have the cast mace just for when I want to be a cast, like heals and stuff. I'm, I'm the only healer. I'll switch to this and use a cast scroll. And then there's um my 90% attack speed mace, which has a funny face if you can see it right there. Look at that, it's like an angry person. Ah, it's upside down though. It's one of the coolest looking mazes in my opinion because it looks so ridiculous. If I can get closer. Yeah, look at that thing. Look at that guy's face. It's double karm. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, I use this for Cirrux and weapon chests and dredge, mainly. 1.1 attack speed. It's faster than a, um, a staff, so you want to switch to your mace for doing um, more damage in those rooms against like Cirques. Although, if you never did that before, and you're an Elias and I would go against you in Dredge, probably wouldn't want to tell you that just because you'd know. Or maybe I would. Mm, you never know. <laughs> that was a random ramble. Um, anyway, is there anything else I wanted to say concerning Mana Stones? Not really. Um, I wonder how much Mana Stones are worth. Let's just look real quick. Resist 14. Nah, it's not too bad. What about uh, block stones? Blocks worth more than magic resist. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, um, that's it for mana stones. So, um, I'm not sure what else I'll do. Like, I did a bunch of arenas earlier, and they were all just face palm. It's unfortunately, I did five. <laughs> And those tickets are all just wasted now, so yeah. I have midterms coming up, so I'm gonna spend more time studying. I probably won't do any recordings soon-ish. Sorry, it's just, you know, those are kind of important. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for this edition of Channel Talk. So if I can think of anything else to say in the upcoming days, I will definitely try to put it in. Until next time though, take care.